Hey there! Let me show you how to take amazing overhead shots like this with the power of 3D printing and a bit of do-it-yourself. Welcome to this video, welcome to my channel. This is the setup that you saw me using in the intro shot. As you can tell, it is quite basic. It is using a regular camera stand with 3D printed parts, some aluminium rods and a bit of counterweight. So let me show you how I 3D printed and assembled it before I will walk you through the features of this build. So let's get to it and start building. So these are the building pieces to my design. First, let's make sure that they are placed and arranged correctly on the print bed. Second step, some paint on supports where needed. Then setting the infill density to 25% and the perimeter walls to four. And don't forget to deactivate auto supports. Checking the print and the supports before sending it to the printer. And off we go. First, let's assemble the camera mount. To attach the lever, we need an M3 hex nut and 8mm screw. The bearing is simply put through the lever and screwed in place safely. As a next step, we are inserting an M5 hex nut on the back side of the camera mount. Now, the front and back side of the camera mount can be screwed together with M3 screws. The mounting plate for the camera is held in place with a lever. Final step in the camera mount assembly is preparing the holders which will hold the camera mount on the aluminium pipes. Next, preparing the central locking mechanism which attaches the overhead shot rig on any regular camera stand. I've cut a 50mm and a 12mm aluminium rods to 100cm and 80cm, which I'm attaching to the central locking mechanism and the camera mount. Lastly, I'm preparing a counterbalance weight holder as well as a power bank holder. Everything is screwed in place nicely with M3 screws. Final step of the assembly, simply styling the counterbalance weight holder as well as the power bank holder over the aluminium rods. Yep, as you can tell, just like the design, also the build itself is quite easy and quite straightforward and should be doable for anyone. So let me now walk you through the four main features of this camera jig. First, most importantly, the camera holder itself. It allows you to simply detach and reattach the camera. Any camera basically can be attached to this holder. How did I do this? Well, I'm using a quarter inch, half, lay, half inch long hex nut, which screws into the base plate and directly into the camera. Once attached to the camera, you can simply take the camera, slide it into the holder, close the lever and you're good to go. Second feature, which is also very important, the light holder. For this, I've designed this small holder, which goes directly over the rods and is basically attached between the two holding parts. How to assemble it is also quite easy. You're using this two-way quarter-inch nut, which goes directly into the holder itself. You screw it into place. And then on the remaining part of the, of the screw, you simply screw on the RGB light and slide over the rod between the holding pieces of the camera holder. Third feature, which I think is also making life way easier, is the power bank holder. I decided to power my camera and also the RGB light with a, I think it's 20,000 milliamp power bank. This gives me the freedom that I don't have to constantly change the built-in battery of the camera and also the light itself. So it can be slid in and out of the holder. And lastly, very important, as with any jig, you need to have a counterbalance weight, a proper one. Because with the long arm like this, the pressure of the camera and the RGB light on one part needs to be balanced out. For this, I've designed this weight plate holder which in my case is holding two and a half kilos. And this also can be slid very easily back and forth on the aluminium rod, depending on the weight it needs to balance out. And as a tip to decide which kind, how much weight you need to put on one side of the, 
of the jig. I recommend to use a luggage scale, which you turn on and then you attach it to the furthest right part of the rod or directly to the plate holder. You loosen the central screw of your camera stand and whatever the scale says, the amount of force you have to put into the plate holder to balance it out, this is the amount of weight you have to attach to the plate holder. That's it. That's my self-made 3D printed overhead camera jig. Let me know in the comments what you think. Give the video a like, share it to somebody who might need such a setup. And of course, let me know if you have any improvement ideas. And most importantly, of course, you can find all the STL files on Thangs, free to download. And I've also put the bill of materials in the description of this video. Ah yeah, and of course, also the links to the, to the power bank, the um, powering uh, cord, the battery adapter, etc. All of this is linked in the description. So I hope you like this video. Stay tuned for further builds because I already have more ideas. See ya.